dead meme. Okay, we're back for stationers. I think we should have a discussion on intermediate power. So power that is not early game, but not late enough that you're going to be using logic circuits and whatnot. Kind of approaching the middle. So as you can see, we have our power generation circuit here. This guy we painted yellow to make him different. Uh, this doesn't, like the little red doesn't matter. But why we're doing this, as you can see, we poke into here, and we have a solar panel room up top. And it's the same thing. The wires are yellow in order to let us know that that is power flowing in. So why does that sort of thing matter? Well, we get in here, we notice that the wire is coming out of our battery. So this is the... Like, I guess you would consider the service end if you are speaking the electrical language. So your power is coming in. This is also a generator which supplies power to the battery. This red cable here uh, snakes throughout the base to some of these power stations in order to provide power to what you may consider a breaker box and then to branch circuits. So why would you do all of this? Well... There is a maximum capacity for these wires. These big heavy cables, they can handle up to uh, 10 kilowatts, I believe it is. Just a quick fix or housekeeping. I was wrong about this heavy cable. The heavy cable can carry 100 kilowatts and the, and the small cable can carry 5,000 watts. So that's 100 kilowatts to 5,000 watts between the two cables. So anything higher than that, they'll burn. But these wires, these little, these smaller ones, and they're not only smaller, but significantly cheaper to produce, can only carry five kilowatts. So what we've done to make sure that we don't end up burning some of these wires, we've created a service-like system where these red wires come and feed these breaker boxes. And this is the uh, cable analyzer showing the entire base. That is the maximum potential that the, at the very bottom. And the two others are what is actually being provided and what is required. But if we go on to here, this prevents this wire from seeing that enormous wattage. So as you can see, the potential, the whole system is still shown. But this actual system from anything uh, passing through this wire is a maximum of 800 watts. So if we were to turn everything on, we'd actually get a, a better idea everything does seem to be on okay so great news so that means any any sort of wire that i want to throw through here or any additional pieces of equipment there's room for it right i'm not gonna uh burn out any wires so what can you do if say you have a room that has an enormous demand well just put it in another little box so my service continues the red wire continues and comes here so in order to protect every other wire, we've done the same thing. It's separated through our breaker box or something operating as a breaker box. And on this guy, ooh, this guy's actually a little bit over. No, actually, sorry, I'm reading it wrong. The potential of the entire system is just shy of 6K. All of these systems on here are drawing five. That particular black wire uh, runs all that stuff out there and when it's running it actually gets close to maximum potential which is why this was done so we've color coded wires why are we doing this well if this red wire touches this black wire anywhere in their circuit they will burn same thing with this yellow wire this yellow wire touches this red wire you'll either burn or the batteries will blink error and nothing will function so this is kind of a way to quickly glance at whether or not your system is um, is safe to add a uh, to connect two wires and things like that so i know what you're thinking why would you bother doing this uh just print heavy cable well you know heavy cable not always available to you especially in your early game uh, gold is not as easy to accomplish as copper and at the same time uh you know these big cables also have a maximum capacity they will burn after a while so the day is going to come, because we're already at 5K or 6K, that I'm going to have to run a totally separate cable because it will not be able to manage the base's power flow. So either a totally separate power generation is, is going to be set up 
or a totally or or we're gonna have to break off another set of batteries that service the other wires within the base so it's not overly complicated so we'll just do a quick quick review you should make your power cables coming in a different color so this is being fed uh, feeding power into these batteries our windmills are out there feeding power our solar panels on the roof are feeding power so this is the entire service end and we'll just open you up so you can take a look under here this is the parts that are going into what we're operating as breaker boxes so this this is a breaker box for this half of the room this is a breaker box for this half of the room plus what's going on out there the circuit analyzers will tell you what's going on on the circuit if you divide your circuits with these power controllers it will protect the huge current from getting onto these smaller wires and of course uh, you can also put batteries in these guys so if something happens or you have a power error you at least have some battery power to potentially print up some materials and sort out your problem so how did i color coat these wires you could use this machine the tool maker one gram of iron you can uh print up some spray paint which i know sounds humorous and you can go out and actually manually paint wires which i'll just quickly demonstrate but i'll show you another method which is probably a bit better there you go so i've manually painted that wire what else could i do so let's i've already kind of prepared a little setup here i want to have more yellow wires but i don't have any yellow spray paint so i can just take him and drag them on there and as you see now i have six yellow wires so it's the same thing with uh, these these black ones here i can take the small cables and bring it over and now i've got red cables or black cables sorry and one other thing we can do is you can actually replace the cables and it doesn't consume oh we had a burnout yeah, so that was when we were having our power issues and we decided to set up the breakers and I figured while we were here, let's make a video. But my wire count isn't decreasing because I'm replacing it with a black wire. I'm not sure if this is a bug or if this is unintended or something like that, but it's just something that works. So just uh, something that's available to you to help you save some, some wire. Uh, but hopefully, I think that covers everything I could probably show you at a at an intermediate power level like of course if there's something I should have added or uh, that I missed that you think would be helpful but uh, keep in mind like this is like I'm not uh, talking about like those crazy steam power builds where people are making steam turbines and sterling engines and you've got like a digital display this is for like people who are uh, not necessarily as savvy or as experienced right but of course if i did miss something give me the comment let me know so i could post it and of course um if um you like what i've done here if this is helpful a like and a sub would go a long way for me uh, and thanks for showing up